All right, so it is finally here. Um, if you're wondering why I didn't talk about this sooner, it's because, well, I was at work, guys. What do you want me to do? Really? Like, what the fuck you want me to do? Like, you know, risk losing my job? As much as I would like to make YouTube my full-time job, that just isn't in the cards right now. So, anyway. So, um, other than that, uh, yeah. We're going to talk about um, got the new trailer for Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire. The second trailer, which they basically were like, no, nah, we're not going to pay... Like, Zaslav was like, no, nah, I'm not going to pay $70 million dollars uh, for a TV spot on YouTube when I can just release the whole thing there and I'll put it on Valentine's Day so yeah all those loveless suckers who uh, who hate themselves and um, have nothing to do will be on their computer and watch my trailer haha -ha. I hope they kill themselves after they say my movie and kill them I'm da and then they can kill themselves like I'm David Zaslov I imagine uh, like I imagine that's what Z what goes through Zaslov's head allegedly um <laughs> Because he's that much of a you know garbage human being, I would I would not be shocked if that was kind of the thought process. Anyway, so let's talk about the uh, the trailer itself. Now, actually, before we do, I'm actually going to talk about something else. Now, as you guys know, a huge movie in the in the kaiju franchise ended its run on April 1st after after just kind of um, coasting. It was supposed to be like a two week thing. And then it blew up and went on for uh, for like two months, showcasing the world Godzilla minus one, and that had major praise. I would argue that it got snubbed for best picture uh, for a best picture nomination, but hey, at least there's finally we live in an era where Godzilla exists and has a Oscar nomina Oscar nomination in general. So who am I to complain? Anyway, so. Um, I know some people are already talking about the new Empire is like, oh, it's not Godzilla minus one. And I'm like, it doesn't have to be. You do, re for those who are the uninitiated in Godzilla fandom, there's a lot of Godzilla that is amazing and fun, and then there's dark, serious period pieces, much like with minus one. In fact, you know, that's what I like about this, is that, you know, Toho can be in charge of giving us the thought-provoking, um, dark you know, character pieces of, of Godzilla, and American can just give us, you know, Showa era with updated, um, with updated effects, because that's really what these movies are, and I know what you're thinking, oh, Multi, you, you complain, you know, you're, you know, you're praising, you know, the MonsterVerse for doing what they did with Transformers, ah, that's where you're wrong, Transformers... The Transformers Michael Bay movies are in, are straight up insulting to both moviegoers and, you know, Transformer fans, and really have no plot, and it's very obvious that no one knew what the fuck to do by the end of the third, uh, by even the second movie. The MonsterVerse roots itself in an era of Godzilla that is fun and wacky and has a lot of bad, <clears throat> but it's fun bad, even at that level. And I do have to stress that... Godzilla there if it wasn't for the monster verse if it wasn't for Godzilla 2014 Toho would never have brought back Godzilla after Final Wars in fact they were just kind of like oh yeah to you know America here you go here's, here's your Godzilla we don't fucking care and then they saw what the effects of the to of the monster verse were like and Toho <clears throat> basically was like oh my god what are we doing we should go back to making Godzilla movies. That's what made us big in the first place. And that led to this initiative of bringing Godzilla further out into the spotlight. And that also allowed them to go back into comics, to go into other media, to go into anime. That All of that because the MonsterVerse inspired Toho and, and re-sparked them to be like, Oh shit, we could, you know, we, could, we should be making Godzilla movies because people will still watch them. So, yeah, if it weren't for the MonsterVerse, you wouldn't have Shin or Minus One. You know, so yeah, I don't know, uh, yes, so the MonsterVerse doesn't have to be, like, Minus One. It doesn't want to be, and I don't want it to be either. It can be its own movie, you know, you know, Legendary can do the fun MonsterVerse stuff. Toho, Toho's got us on the, you know, drama pieces. I think I think that's a nice trade-off, honestly. Anyway, so let's actually get into the trailer. 
the trailer show like I really like this trailer because it's it's basically showcasing that like I said earlier this is a big show off movie this is a big show off movie with uh, a bigger budget it really does feel dumb like uber dumb I'm not going to lie it feels dumb but like fun dumb not like Transformers dumb where it's like I hate watching this it's more like this looks like Adam Wingard took all of the toys out of the toy box and was just clashing them together that's what it feels like Wingard, uh, Adam Wingard was doing here. It was just like, I'm going to take all of the to my toys out and just bash them together and make up rules as I go along. Is it this move? I can already tell, though. I will say, though, that it will feel like a bit of a mess. I do feel from the trailers this movie might be a bit of a mess, and that might hurt, uh, you know, viewing for some people. That even might hurt for me. Um, even though I just said, you know, this might be dumb fun, but, like, it doesn't hurt to have, like, a consecutive story as well with your, with your dumb fun movie. Um, we also get more of a showcase of the Scar King, which is, uh, which I think is really cool. We get to see more of his bone whip. We get more of his, we get more showcase of, um, well, we, the interesting thing is they've been really hiding Shimu, the, um, the Ice Titan. That is meant to be Godzilla's rival, and was also apparently responsible for the first Ice Age. Um, they're really—I was surprised because I thought this would be the trailer to showcase Shimu. But then again, like they really didn't hide. Me they tried as they might. They really tried to hide Mecha Godzilla, but the promotions and whatnot didn't help. Even Wingard couldn't hide it. So yeah, it's probably—it feels like a Mecha Godzilla situation over again, where it's like, dude, we already know. Just show us what Shimu is going to look like in the movie. Um, but that, uh, but, yeah, um, the fight scene between, the quick scene between Scar King and Kong's fight looks really fucking epic. I also really enjoy that, um, they also say that Godzilla and Kong, they basically establish that Godzilla and Kong didn't become friends at the end of GVK. They were just, like, truce. Like, that was it. Like, Godzilla will stay on Earth, and Kong will stay in Hollow Earth. And we'll, you know... That will be it. But now, here they are back together again, and they said, like, it's going to be like a Kong movie, like a kaiju buddy cop movie, like 48 Hours, where I guess, I guess Godzilla is Eddie Murphy and Kong is, and I guess Kong is uh, Nick Nolte. I don't know how many fucking people know 48 Hours, so I, I don't know why I made that reference. Um... Uh, <laughs> Um, anyway, so, it's more of a monster buddy, and we do get to see Godzilla and Kong are about to throw down in Egypt, and, um, we also see that Scar King is planning on launching a full-on war with the rest of the world, um, and, yeah, this just looks like fun. That's really what it is at the end of the day, it's just big fun. And that's all I can really say about this movie is just, let's have some fun with this movie. <sighs> anyway. So, that's kind of my thoughts, really, is that I am excited for this movie. Um, I'm excited to see where this goes. And hopefully we get more of the MonsterVerse, because that means Toho will keep making their movies in response. If you don't even, it, like... If you go to if you if you have anything to hang your hat on to all the uh, you know God's major Godzilla gatekeepers, I say this: go to these movies if only to support the uh, the need for Toho to make more Godzilla movies, so we can get another Shin Godzilla or a minus one or something else. So hang your hat on that that these movies inspire Toho to keep making Godzilla movies in Japan. So if it, like if you're gonna be a dick about it, at least give your money. That's all I can say. Anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below what do you, what did you guys think of the second trailer for Godzilla X Kong: The New Empire? Do you guys like it? Hate it? Comment below. Let me know. And before anyone says anything in the comments, I know about that other announcement. I'm about I'm gonna do a video on it coming up next. So stay tuned. It, uh, but other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.